The Vasa IMS-41 is the latest of the Vasa boats. The Vasa boats are known for the good sailing characteristica and comfortable handling both in the archipelago and at sea, with focus on the sailing experience and comfortable life on board. It is also a boat that attracts attention, and often when we get into a harbour we get the comment, what a beautiful boat. A cappella is built in Tavron and Divinusel for the highest possible strength at the lowest possible weight. Tavron is an aramid fiber such as Kevlar. The strength and quality is shown by the condition of the boat. She is as new despite being built 1996. A cappella has an ABS certificate of the highest class. A cappella has had the one and the same owner since she was built and she has always been maintained by the manufacturer Vasa Yachts in Södertälje. She has also since 2021 a new Yanmar 40 horse horsepower common rail diesel engine with S-drive and a folding three-blade propeller. As environmental friendly and safe as it can be. But the most important thing, that is how fun it is to sail her. Join us for a trip out at sea. These are some pictures from a sailing we did from Sandham in Sweden directly over to Kökar in Åland. A distance just over 90 nautical miles and it took less than 9 hours. So it was a good and fast sailing. Eleven point four knots. That's only zero point two knot left to beat me because I had eleven point six. The maximum speed for this boat without surfing, I think, is approximately thirteen knots. We will uh, soon reach Shellshär, or directly translated the Count's Island. It's a mythical, thrilling Shellshär that lies outside Kökel and an island which I like a lot. Not only because it's called Shell and that happened to be my first name, but it is also a fantastic island to visit. So now when we have seen the sailing of the Capella, maybe we should go down below and have a look too. What does she look like? The interior is based on experiences from many years of family sailing and racing. There are 9 up to 11 berths, kitchenette, toilet, navigation table and wardrobe. The salon amidship has a classic cozy layout with practical sea bunks above the sofas. An ideal sleeping place for children. Here they can go to bed, but still join in the party. The bunks also offer plenty of space for orders to sleep at sea. The arrangement also provides ample practical storage space under the sea bunks. The boat's size of 41 feet makes this classic layout work even better. There are plenty of space but at the same time you can move around comfortably below deck, even at sea in rough conditions. The galley is well sized, with space for kitchen equipment and provisions. And the water and drain intake are located close to the center line of the boat, so they can be used while sailing, even in rough conditions. Opposite the galley is a well-equipped navigation station. At the stern there is a generous cabin on the starboard and port side. The 
toilet offers plenty of space and the toilet seat is placed so it can be used even during sailing and rough sea condition. A stainless steel holding tank with emptying from the deck but it can also be emptied directly to the sea if you are far out from land. Throughout we can say that the boat is built so that you can stay comfortably below the deck even at sea. There are plenty of handles so that you can get around safely whatever the weather. The forepeak is fully furnished but while racing the berth can be folded against the sides to change the area into a sail storage area while racing. That can be quite practical. Now let's take a closer look at the cockpit. This is after all the place where you usually spend most of your time and that is also the area where you really want to feel comfortable. The Vasa 41 has a spacious cockpit for the crew and the distance between the cockpit benches is adapted so that you can sit comfortably both to leeward and windward. E.e. your feet can reach over the bench on the other side that you can use the leeward bench to support when the boat is over. The helmsman has a comfortable space behind the steering wheel where he she also reaches all the main trim functions. The steering wheel is large enough to give the helmsman a good overview both to leeward and to windward. You can also sit comfortably on the outside and lean against the cockpit side. A finesse here is that the deck is raised so that you do not get the sharp railing strip into the knee folds and any water runs away in the gutter without getting you wet. In port up to uh, 6 to 8 people can easily gather around the cockpit table and you can get even more up to four behind the wheel. It's always nice to be able to eat outside in the cockpit when the weather permits. On the transom there is a comfortable bathing uh, platform so that you can easily get uh, in and out of the water. There is also a shower with both hot and cold water. A really good convenience. Well, now all that remains is to see what does she look like underneath. And this is what we see in these pictures. It's easier to see when she sits dry on land. She is 12 meters and 40 centimeters long, 3 meters and 30 centimeters wide and has a draught of 240. Click on the link to get more detailed information.